Well, with the gradual rise in the number of positive cases in Kano State, frontline workers are being trained on prevention and safety measures while carrying out their duties. This time, journalists have also added to the list of those receiving training. Ibrahim Issa reports. The resident of Kano State, the epicenter of the coronavirus in the north, look forward to getting accurate and reliable information now than ever, especially as numbers increase on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what makes the job of the journalist very crucial. But being in the front line, disseminating information also puts them at risk of contracting the virus, like the medics engaged in curtailing the spread of the pandemic. The Kano State government, in collaboration with the Ministerial Task Force on COVID-19 in Kano, believe journalists need to be trained on the preventive and safer ways of reporting. As a health correspondent, even in your journalism, you nose for news. You go smelling for news. Where is anything else happening? Work with you as we discuss, because most of the things we are going to tell you, you are already doing it, you know it. The only thing we are here to do is just to make sure we remind of our, ourselves so that we can do things properly. While journalists across the globe are adopting strict policies that have seen major adjustment in the coverage of the pandemic, these participants say they have also taken a cue. We assure you that we are fully equipped and we are going to enlighten the people appropriately on this menace devoid of misinformation. We are able to get familiar with some of those risk communication factors. The fact that we also go out every day to do our job, we are more vulnerable. I quite appreciate the fact that the training has offered me an ample opportunity to fully comprehend the nitty-gritty of reporting disaster and understanding the entire concept of management in a disaster time like the situation of COVID-19 in the country. Honestly, I have learned a lot. Um, specifically, you know, the handling of the normal guard gauge. Before, I, I don't hear. Yeah, I just send the guard gauge as they are and I retrieve them when, after the interview or whatsoever. But now I understand that there is a need to sanitize even the guard gauge. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduja commended efforts of media men with global health crisis not looking likely to subside anytime soon. He charged journalists to take precautionary measures always to reduce prevalence of the transmission of the virus to the communities. Because as you find the frontline health workers, doctors, nurses, laboratory technicians, Doing what they regard as their professional duties, the journalists also must come in and share the same space in the front line. The purpose of this training program is to see how we can further build synergy between the media and medical practitioners in Kano State. Although Kano State had in recent times witnessed a rise in the number of cases of the coronavirus, only one broadcast journalist and his wife had so far tested positive for the virus. Authorities want the temple to be maintained and hope to deal with the communal spread of the virus so that Kano would be declared a COVID-19 free state in Nigeria. Authorities in Kano are optimistic that journalists in the state are now abreast of activities related to safety and prevention against the coronavirus, especially while discharging their professional duties. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano.